Hi, and here we go with our video for 16.3, Colligative Properties of Solutions. After the last couple of long ones, you're going to be happy to know that this one is nice and short. All right, so colligative properties, something we've probably never, ever heard before. These are properties that depend on the number of solute particles in a solution, not their identity. So what does that mean, number of solute particles? particles in a solution all right so let's say here we have sugar water right c6 h12 o6 right and sugar will dissolve in water but since it's a covalent type compound it's not going to ionize so every single tiny little sugar particle is one particle because it doesn't split so one mole sugar is going to make one mole particles. Okay. Now, what if it's salt? NaCl. As we know, the salt will ionize into Na plus ions and Cl minus ions. So every one salt molecule becomes two separate particles in the solution, right? So one mole of salt is going to end up making two moles of particles or ions, okay? Now, let's say we take another kind of salt and say CaCl2, calcium chloride. Well, when that dissolves in the water, it's going to make calcium 2 plus and two Cl minuses for a total of three particles. So one mole of CaCl2 will make three moles of particles. Okay, so it, the, the properties, colligative, colligative properties, depend on the number of solute particles in a solution. Doesn't matter what it is, okay, doesn't matter that it's sugar, it just matters that one mole of particles. Doesn't matter that it's salt, NaCl, it matters that there's two moles of particles formed. Doesn't matter that it's CaCl2, which is matters that there's three moles of particles formed per every mole that's added. So what are these colligative properties? All right. These include vapor pressure lowering. So when we add something to water, it's going to lower the vapor pressure. If we add sugar, it'll lower the vapor pressure a little. If we add salt, it'll lower the vapor pressure more. If we add calcium chloride, it'll lower the vapor pressure even more. Its colligative properties include boiling point elevation. It makes the boiling point higher. So instead of the water boiling at 100 degrees Celsius, it'll boil at a higher temperature. If we add sugar, it'll boil at a higher temperature. If we add NaCl, it'll boil at even higher of a temperature. If we add calcium chloride, it'll boil at a higher temperature still. And finally, freezing point depression, meaning a lowering of the freezing point. So normally the freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius. Well, if we add sugar to it, it'll lower it. If we add NaCl, it'll lower it more. If we add CaCl2, it'll lower it even more. Basically, what these things do is they're using some forces of attraction to make a liquid want to stay a liquid, where it's going to take more heat to make it boil, and it's going to take even colder temperatures. You're going to have to remove even more heat to make it freeze and form a solid. Okay, so when we look at these examples right we need to think of a term called electrolyte right if you remember did a demonstration in class a while back where 
we dissolved salt in water and saw that it would carry a current, right? And then we saw the light bulb light up. When we had pure water, distilled water, the light bulb did not light up, and it was no longer a conductor of a current. An electrolyte is a compound that disassociates when dissolved in water. So usually ionic compounds are electrolytes. So right, like NaCl becomes Na plus and Cl minus. A non-electrolyte does not, right? So the sugar, C6H12O6, when we put them in water, it just becomes C6H12O6 aqueous because it's dissolved. It doesn't break apart like ions do, okay? With one exception, or two exceptions, or a group of exceptions, let's say. Uh, we haven't really talked a whole lot about acids and bases yet, but they behave as electrolytes even though they are covalently bonded. All right, so that brings us to the end of 16.3. Like I promised, short and sweet, and I'll see you guys.